we're talking about finding the volume of a cone. Okay? This is a cone. A cone is a three-dimensional triangle. Okay? If we pour water into this cone, the first thing the water is going to do, if I poured it here, is go down. Right? It's going to go down. And if there's a down, there's an up. And if there's a down and up, there's a height, right? Down, up, height. Which means that the first part of a cone we're going to think about is a height. Okay? When the water goes down, it's actually going to go down, hit the bottom, spread out. And it's going to spread out into what shape? The bottom of this cone is actually a circle. Well, what are the main parts of a circle? Well, the main part of a circle is the distance across the middle, end to end through the middle. And that's the diameter. If I measure this one with a tape, I get about seven inches. Okay? So, you have a height, you have a diameter of the circle. That was, by the way, seven inches. And halfway across is not the diameter, but the radius. The radius. And if my diameter across the bottom of the circle is 7 inches, then my radius is 3.5 inches. Okay? We didn't measure our height, because once that water goes down, it's going to hit the bottom, it's going to spread out, it's going to cover the whole circle. And we're going to talk about that in a minute. But after it covers, it's going to start going up. That's our height. So we have to measure our height. So we take the ruler. In this case, we'll measure it. Base of the, of the, um, base of the <clears throat> cone to the top. And we're going to get about 11 inches. Okay? So the height is 11 inches. Okay? Now. Height, diameter, radius. The first thing we need to understand is that when the water hits the bottom, we said it will cover the whole circle. Cover. Whenever you talk about covering something, you're talking about area. Cover a rectangle, it's area of a rectangle. Cover a square, it's area of a square. Cover a circle, it's area of a circle. And the area of a circle is equal to pi, which is 3.14, the radius halfway across the circle, squared. That's what we use to measure the bottom of the circle, covering the circle, right? So then, we know that to calculate that bottom of the triangle, Okay, now we're going to do volume, filling it. It's going to be the area of the circle. But after the area is covered on the bottom, it's going to rise. So it's going to be pi r squared times the height, right? The water covers and it rises. But for a cone, there's one more thing. This should look familiar. Pi r squared was the volume of a cylinder. It was the volume of this. But we're doing a cone. Okay? And let me show you where the cone comes from. If I cut this cylinder, this can, with a V, like this, look at it. I'm getting one two, three triangles. I'm getting three of these. 
in here. I'm only taking the volume of one of the three. So you're getting three of these, but I only need one, which means that my cone is actually only one third the cylinder. One third pi r squared height. Okay? All right. Again, pi r squared is just that circle part. Height, it's rising. One third because a cone is one third of a cylinder of a can. So this is how we do the calculation. Okay? Carry that to one third. Pi is always 3.14. Radius we have. Radius is half the diameter. It's 3.5 squared. Height is 11 inches. Okay? Now, I work in the word of the most difficult first. So I'm going to take care of my square. Square just means the number times itself. So it's 3.5 times 3.5. You can get a calculator. You can type in 3.5 times 3.5. And you're going to get, for this, 12.25. Then I'll bring down my 11 so I can continue. I'll bring down my 3.14. And I'll bring down my 1 third. This is my next step. Okay? Okay. We're going to do these two next. We're going to go 3.14 times 12.25. Okay? 38.465. That's these two. Then I'm going to multiply those by 11. And I still have my one third, so I'll bring it down. Now I'm going to do my last two pieces. 38.465, again, we can use our calculator, times 11. I'm going to get for these two, four, two, three. 0.115. And I'm going to take one third of it. One third, you know what one third means? It means whatever answer you get here, just divide by three. So I'm going to go 423.115 divided by three. And I'm going to get one, four, one point oh four and this is inches and do not forget we talked about this with cylinder cylinder has a height one and two radiuses right radius square it has three dimensions right height right height radius and depth which means your unit of measure is going to be always cubed. You're always going to put inches, centimeters to the third. So the formula, volume equals one-third pi r squared h. You're going to turn pi as 3.14. You're going to put your radius in. It's going to be square. 
you're going to put your height in. Your squared is the number times itself. There it is. Your height is next to it. Your pi is 3.15. I'm sorry, 3.14. Okay? 38.465 times 11. Okay? Times one third. Okay? You're going to get 38.465 times 11 is 423.115. All I did is divide by the 3 for a third. And you're going to get 141.04 inches cubed. Okay? Hopefully that helps.